I'm just going to introduce you to the next speaker from the Irish Freedom Party, which is Herman Kelly. And he'll say if you want, I hope. Thank you. To the to give catch girl, thank you for coming here today. And such great numbers, Fair Power! This place made by people who turn up. Oh, you two, mate, all the best. Yeah, He's got 10 minutes, don't worry. Remember 10 minutes. I was in Leeds up there on Friday, and there was a, with a number of people who were protesting. People who have a burning desire for the freedom of their country and the yes, safety of yes. their community. And there's a man who I interviewed, he's a member of the Irish Freedom Party, and he was explaining he's from Leakslip, his family are from Leakslip, going through generations, and he explained to the camera why he was there, making a stand against the colonization of his local community. What he didn't tell the camera at the time was, and he was talking about the increase in criminality in London and over in England, like, looking across Europe, what he didn't tell, what he didn't say on camera, is that his brother, his own elder brother, had been murdered by a Jamaican in London and then got off scot free. Myself, we see across Europe the increase, you see all these uh, Palestine, uh, Hamas rallies all across Europe, and you can see that. Uh, the number of Muslims and stuff across Europe is increased dramatically and it's very, very dangerous for European civilization. I myself, I know two people personally who have actually been shot in random Islamic attacks. And that says to me that what we are talking about in generalities, what we see in theories about, yeah, yeah, increase in crime, this increase in crime is coming very, very quickly, and it's going to be very, very personal. I myself, there's a guy, I told you the story, about there was a convicted rapist moved in two miles from my house, and with, uh, I have a number of kids, and that guy wasn't long, he wasn't living in Midlow for very long. This isn't just to do. If we want, and it's great to see such a crowd here today, but what we want is to be a free people and a free country. What we want is personal freedom and national sovereignty. We are not accepting the future of decay, of destruction, and of death. We want an Ireland for our families with freedom and a future. And for that, we need not nihilism, not despair. What we need is a nation of faith, of families, of fraternity, and with a future for our families and our country. We need political power. Having rallies is fine, it's great, it's important to get our message out. But what is more important is that we get rid of those people in the door, replace them. Let <laughs> What we need is political power. We need to get rid of, like, you know, Leo Baratkar. Leo! Leo is the leak! And he's all this stuff about, remember, like, he was lying there two weeks ago. He was caught lying. 
home with his pound star and the jokes. <laughs> he was poor lying about all this stuff in uh, about uh, people taking uh, fingerprints and being crossed against criminal databases. All lies, of course, he's a complete liar. But Leo, Leo the Leak has fucking Leo the Liar. What we need to do is make him Leo the Loser. If you don't know, we need, you know this, and this is where the home truth, it mightn't please everybody, but it has to be said, that all our enemies are in organized and political parties. Why? Because that is necessary for accumulation of political parties. Not disunited, but a coherent goal with coherent, organized policies and an organized organization. That's why I would ask you to consider joining and campaigning and donating and putting yourself forward as a candidate for the Irish Freedom Party, the weak and poor candidate to take back power for the Irish people. And get rid of those wasters! So I'm asking you in all seriousness, boy, everybody, consider now what is going on in this country is very, very serious. We are facing becoming a minority in our own country. What we are talking about is about the future that Ireland, the Irish nation and people have a future as a nation. Destroy the family, the nation, and the nation state, and that's what we want back. So I want to every man and woman here speak to your family, your friends, people who have emigrated. We need every man and woman in this country to consider in their conscience what they can do for Ireland now, because we must stand up now. That we have a future for our children and future generations. So every man and woman here, every man and woman here, consider carefully in your conscience, your talents, your time, your achievements. Basically, we need people to put with their name, with their name, their reputation, their face forward in public, put it out in public. That we stand for the freedom and safety, the freedom of Ireland, the sovereignty of Ireland, and the safety of our families. So come join us. Thanks for sitting on the Irish Freedom Party, Royal Magazine, Status Party, and Lauren Day. Well done for organised guys today. Good morning, Michelle. Thank you. Thanks, Harry.